I decided to volunteer with refugees in Greece uh, simply because I realized that it was needed and that I could. I read an article in Huffington Post uh, from a journalist who was in Lesbos um, observing the conditions there while people were waiting to register and move on from Lesbos um, and observing boat landings. And she kind of described the situation where there were no major humanitarian actors there at the time working. Um, and they were just volunteers trying their best to do the most they could. Um, and I realized that I could just go there and do that. Um, and once I realized that, I kind of felt obligated to do so. So um, I went online and looked for Lesbos volunteering to see if there was any information about what I should do, if there were organizations I could join up with. Um, found a few, including The Drop in the Ocean, who I emailed and The Drop in the Ocean was the, the first to respond. They sent me a couple of phone numbers and said, call one of these when you get there. Um, so that was it. I went to Lesbos and phoned up one of the coordinators that was there at the time. And well, within a day I was on the beach. The most important thing to do is to make sure that everything continues to run well. Um, we're working in four locations now and we've got well-established processes and activities that we perform in the different places. Uh, we do those well and we do, it, we do that fairly and people uh, understand how we work in the camps. Uh, so the most important thing is not to disrupt anything that we're already doing well um, and to ensure that we have the volunteers and the resources to continue um, at the same time, if there are other things we can do elsewhere, uh, it will be good to find, you know, find those needs um, and to, to figure out if we can help to find volunteers or find funding to resource new projects in new locations, um, uh, improve the things that we're currently doing. Um, but the most important thing is to make sure that we continue to do a good job. Um, and to fill needs that others can't. Greece-wide, uh, I would say that the most, the most difficult thing right now is probably the interminable waiting, the uncertainty about how the process works in terms of application for asylum. Um, and uh, and the empty time uh, while people are becoming deconditioned from being active. Uh, no work, no activity. Um, so I think it's, it's the combination of uncertainty, complete lack of control in people's own experience, in people's own lives. Um, nobody has the ability to self-determine in any way almost. Um, and nobody is really clear about how the process works um, or, or has any indication of how long it's going to take before they find out what happens to them next. Um, and I think that the, the needs, um, people's immediate emergency needs change the longer they wait in this limbo period uh, without anything to do. Um, so I think if you're looking at the whole picture Greece-wide, it's probably that. But in some camps, the needs are much, much more urgent and much, much more basic. Uh, and while in others, um, can, living conditions are better. Um, so it's the, it's the kind of uncertainty and the boredom. It depends what way you look at it, I suppose. Um, the volunteers we have, for example, we went around the table the other night in a volunteer meeting and there are people here from Singapore, US, New Zealand, Norway, Denmark, Spain, um, Austria, Germany. This is a team of maybe 15 people representing you know, a global population in some small way. So I think depending on the international community you're talking about, uh, yes, people are trying hard to do what they can. Um, and people do care and people are feeling compassion for this crisis. Um, if, you talk about, if you're talking about the international political community, then I would say absolutely not. There's a lack of will 
um, political will to do anything, even to confront the reality of this situation, uh, and a lack of moral courage about uh, taking a lead and saying, this is an obligation, these people are displaced from home, it's not safe for them to go back, and we have a responsibility to help. Um, and I don't think that's happening, and I think the process, although the official line will be that everyone is in an asylum process and their claims will be dealt with, the process is so ambiguous and opaque and so slow that it feels deliberate. Um, so, in short, the people who need to be helping aren't helping, but many other people are trying their hardest. Certainly, anybody who has the time uh, and the energy and the will to come here and do something to help that is needed. Um, why you should choose the drop in the ocean is because we have a lot of experience now in this work. Um, we don't engage in projects that we can't sustain. We don't engage in any projects that we can offer fairly to everybody in an environment. Um, we're, we've become a respected organization, a respected small volunteer organization. We work very closely with major agencies in the camps where we work. Uh, they take us seriously and they know that we'll do a good job, we'll act professionally, um, and we'll do everything to ensure that the additional services that we're delivering or helping to deliver are done fairly with no prejudice. We don't have any um, we don't have any funding relationships that compromise our ability to make independent decisions. Um, we allow the teams on the ground to act autonomously and make decisions um, about the day-to-day -day business uh, so as not to obstruct the individual needs of the different camps where we work. Um, we, we provide a wide range of different uh, roles, I guess, in different camps, um, so depending where a volunteer goes, the work that they'll be doing uh, might be slightly different. In some places we distribute uh, food and also non-food, clothing and so on. Um, in some places we assist with the food distribution processes that other people deliver. Uh, we also organize a lot of activities and low-level educational uh, programs. Uh, we provide support for mother and babies. If the drop in the ocean suits you, then please join, because we need volunteers all the time. It's a, a constant churn, um, and we will put your efforts to good use.